Hey guys, hey, it is your girl, So Fashion Week TV and the place to be. And hello, hello, hello. It is Friday up in the place and uh, we are getting ready to go to work. So, come on. Today is the day that my braces appointment was rescheduled. And so I will be heading over um, to the office uh, for a 4.30 appointment. So I'm going to leave work at about, I wanna say maybe about one o'clock. Uh, because I don't know what the traffic will be like going into New York um, at that time. It's pretty crazy and hectic on a Friday. Um, so I'm going to have to leave work um, well ahead of the appointment to make sure that I get there on time because I want to say that they close around 5.30 and I want to leave a good window of time for me to you know, kind of get there, um, get parked, um, so that I can be sitting in the office at exactly 4.30. Um, really, really excited about what's to come over the next couple of weeks after getting this adjustment. Um, really excited about, really excited to know what the game plan is going to be going into the next uh, month. Um, hopefully, I'll start to see some movement in the top front of my teeth. So maybe I'll get power chains. Uh, let's speak that into existence. Maybe we'll be getting power chains this time. And uh, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys once I leave the office just to do a really quick update check-in and then uh, it'll be time for the appointment. So. Let me just do a really quick weight update for you guys. So I weighed in today at 124.6. So that is 0.4 pounds down. Uh, from the last weigh-in which is which is which was excuse me um i weighed in last on saturday or sunday so um, i'm typically a daily wear but uh since it's since the summer has rolled around i've kind of moved away from that and i'm kind of doing more of like uh when i feel like getting on the scale type of weigh-in but um it is more frequent than than most people it's not daily but I probably do it every so many days and I just like to um, to do that little spot check with myself um, to kind of see where I am and just making sure that I'm not going off the rails in any way or the things that I'm eating are not causing me to go off the rails because as you guys know I have um, kind of moved to a more plant-based um, diet where I'm not eating meat and so I'm eating a lot of things that I've never eaten before like uh, this week as an example I've eaten a lot of lentils and I can't even tell you when I've actually just ate lentils. Um, I've eaten lentil soup, but not just, just the lentils by themselves mixed in with maybe some peppers, onions, and tomato. My favorite thing in the whole wide world. But um, yeah, so I'm eating a lot of things that I've never ever eaten before on a more regular consistent basis. And so I like to do those weigh in checks with myself as frequently as possible, um, just to make sure that everything is good. And um, like I said, my, my weight is not going off the rails in any way, and it's not. Um, it's just an amazing thing. I just can't stress it enough how amazing it is to see uh, my body doing things that I've never ever thought that it can do just eating um, regular food. Guys, hey, your girl, So Fashion Week TV, and I am back. The time is now 1.46 in the p.m. I am just leaving work. Let me turn this down. No copyright strikes in the name of Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Yeah, so it is now 1.47, and your girl is done with her day of work. It is Friday. We are ready for the weekend. Um, 
And yeah, it is time to head over to the dentist office. Uh, my appointment is not until 4.30, but I am going to head over there now because, you know, the traffic is kind of hit or miss going over to New York. And so actually what we'll do right now is we will see how long it will take us to get there uh, in the current traffic situation. Okay, so it's it's saying here that from where I am now it it'll take 48 minutes so that'll put me there let's see it'll put me there at 235 which is not bad I don't know what to do now because it's like I don't want to go too early and have to sit so I think I'll probably leave. I think I'm gonna leave now. I'm just gonna go over there now, guys. So we are going to start the journey over there. I might stop at home first and change this top because this top is just really unruly. So that's what I'll do. I'll go home, change my top, and then we'll get right on the road to head over to the office. Thankfully, your girl was on point today because she has a backup battery that's fully charged. Uh, so yeah, uh, right now I'm just sitting out front, just waiting until it gets closer to the time for me to go in. I want to show up on them early so that I can get out early. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to be here. As you guys know, the Monday appointment was canceled because the orthodontist had an emergency which is completely understandable I can understand that but I was a little disappointed because I wanted to you know get the work done on the day that I had off so I had to actually schedule a half a day uh, to accommodate this appointment which is kind of an inconvenience because I could have saved that five hours for something else um, you know but it is what it is your girl's not gonna be too upset about it we're here and yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll uh, with this adjustment. So I wanna show you guys what my teeth are looking like right now before I go in. And then we'll see what the game plan is going into the month of August. These are going to be my vacation braces. Uh, so I really need to be thinking about what color I want to get. So right now I have gold and
and yeah it's now 329 and it's pretty busy out here but it only took me 25 minutes to get here from home which is fantastic because I was thinking that there was going to be hella traffic but there must be a lot of people out of town right now and that is the reason why it did not take me very long to get over here because let me tell you the commute back home is typically very treacherous on a Friday um, in New York City so yeah so I am going to uh, get off of here and uh, go and locate the parking lot and then I will update you guys once I get in the office oh let me know if you guys would like for me to do a video I um, was really bothered by a lot of the online discussion around the Leela Rashan, Antoine Fuqua, and Nicole Murphy situation. So I really wanted to do a sit down video around letting yourself go and you know how I feel about the idea because you know I've been in a place like that and you know people can be so heartless with their words and it's just it's just really unfair especially to us women who pour ourselves into our relationships we pour ourselves into um, our children we pour ourselves into work and literally we are the forgotten species no one really cares about us um, in essence uh, and even after all we do we bring life into the world we raise the children that we that we bear and we take care of our families we hold them down we feed our children we feed other people's children we do a lot as women and I don't think that we get half the credit that we deserve for uh, being responsible basically for all of mankind you know on the um, we're just we're just as important as God because without us there would be nothing and the fact that people can be so harsh with their words and not really care about the harsh things that they say and what that might do um, to a person it's just it's just really really just unacceptable and when we think about um, when I think in terms of letting yourself go um, to me it's just more so of just doing what everybody else is doing I think it at you know once you've done all that you can and there's nothing else left to do you just give up and I think that that is probably what a lot of women and it's not really a color thing in my opinion it's just women in general is that once we've given all that we've had to give and there's nothing else left we give up and most people consider that as um, letting yourself go and it's just completely completely unfair and um, you know thankfully in my situation I was able to get myself back but a lot of women um, they let it get too far gone and I, I really do believe that you know to some degree that could have potentially been what happened uh, to Leela Rashawn among other things and so you know my heart goes out to her and her family um, because this not only affects her but it also affects her children and so yeah we have to have some level of compassion and the fact that you know us women don't even have compassion for one another it's just really really sad and so I just wanted to say that but if you guys do feel that you want to sit down a formal sit down video about that um, I can certainly do it that that's the the trending topic of the week and you know I was really taken aback by some of the um, by some of the commentary that's the word I was looking for Yes, yeah, so I was really taken aback by some of the commentary that I was seeing online and how we as women are just so ugh, terrible toward one another and even my own self, I, I would have to say that I was even guilty of thinking in my mind. Even before um, this story broke, um, I had seen uh, a photo online and when I saw her, I said, oh my God, she let herself go. But then when I actually sat down and really evaluated my my own personal thoughts about um, women who were once thin and 
um, in shape and you know really cared about the, the way they looked and then when they get into a relationship or they go through a breakup or they have a baby then suddenly that sexy woman is now looking horrible the first thing that we default to is that the person let themselves go without even considering that there could be a number of things mental health included um, that they could be battling and we have no compassion for that we're we're only thinking about the outside exterior when their inside um, can be completely torn down and you know even our negativity and our thoughts could be further tearing them down and we don't even care about that so I even was convicted by my thoughts about Leela Rashan like I said weeks even months prior um, to this story breaking so I just think that we just need to be more compassionate toward one another and um, try to uplift each other rather than tearing each other down it's just a horrible thing so let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on the whole idea of letting yourself go um and yeah i think it'll be cool so let me know and i will put that together for you guys is that um, when I go back on the 18th of August which actually is before my cruise so these are not my cruise braces I was misunderstood so I'll be going back on the 18th at which time I'll have my bite fleet because she said that they're going to start working on closing the gap so that's good news because you know like I said I really wasn't seeing the effects of the braces necessarily as of yet I'm a freak these people drive absolutely nuts okay all right so yeah I'm excited now because at least I know that we are on the path to um, now working on my upper teeth at the bottom really wasn't all that bad so you know I really didn't expect to see much progression on the bottom where you're going to see the most drastic difference is in my top teeth and so I'm excited to know that we are going to start working on that in the coming in the upcoming month. Now I don't know how that's going to impact my eating on the cruise, which I didn't really plan to go off of the rails anyway. Um, but I just don't know how that bite plate is going to affect me since they're saying that I have to eat 
with um, that I have to excuse me not eat but wear it all the time so I am going to get off here because I need to focus on the road but I just wanted to give you guys that little tidbit of an update and uh, yeah I'll be back but I did get red and I don't know if you can see it but I'll do a close-up so you guys can see it um, thank you guys for coming along with me for the ride and for right now I'm gonna peace you guys out and I will be back tonight tonight sometime uh, to chat it up with you guys some more